Good morning and welcome to another day of OMG at Science. Let's see how our samples look like. Let's do this. So as you can see now, it went from being orange to being red. And that's because when you evaporate the chloroform, the chains of polymers, they will aggregate together because they do not like the water and they will form the nanoparticles. And that creates the red color. When these chains aggregate, you get this red color. So what I will do now is because, yeah, you can see on the sides when you evaporate solvent, you can get aggregates on the side of the flask. So I'll put it through a filter now and then the sample will be ready. synthesized fluorescent nanoparticles. Nanoparticles that can emit light and can be used for biomedical research. So let's get on to the next step. Okay guys, so we took off our nanoparticles of the hot plate, we filtered them and now we're going to wash them. Why do we do that? Because the surfactant that I'm using is toxic for our cells and for other biological samples, so we need to wash it off. And for that I need membrane bags and I'm going to get it at the chemistry department. Okay, so we've arrived at the university, kind of lucky that I found this parking spot because finding parking spots at the university, it's a real hassle, but maybe that's for a, another episode. So let's find Stefan who has the membrane bags. We're now walking through the hallways of the chemistry and biology labs and I always love walking through here because of these closets. They have always these fancy samples in here. All kinds of biological samples. Birds. Starfish. No SpongeBob SquarePants, however. Well, we found Stefan. He was doing infrared. Hey. We found the membrane bags. We were lucky because everyone for the moment is taking them. But you can see chemists are really happy people because they always like to work with balloons. Okay, and I quickly also dropped by the reception to pick up a goodie bag. Whoop whoop, free stuff. Let's do a small unboxing of our goodie bag from New Hasselt. Let's see what's inside, so. New Hasselt, new logo. Knowledge in action. Let's see what's inside. Try to do this with one hand. How do all these vloggers do this? God damn it. We have a notebook, paper notebook. We have a calendar. Somewhere on this, my PhD defense date should be <laughs> 2017. And a pen. That was the brief unboxing of the Hustle goodie bag. Let's go back to work. So why am I using these membrane bags to wash my nanoparticles? Well, what I'm doing is I'm using a semi-permeable membrane, which only their surfactant can pass through. And what happens is the following. There needs to be an equilibrium. So there needs to be as much surfactant on one side as on the other. So what happens is, because on one side you have our nanoparticle solution with surfactant, and on the other side the water with no surfactant, the surfactant will migrate from one to the other and so I will lose my surfactant gradually and wash off my nanoparticles. 
impact. So this is really ideal to get rid of your excess of surfactant and make our samples biocompatible so they can be used for biological experiments. However, this takes a really long time, so I have to change the water every hour or get students to do it for me. Okay, so I've already refilled it a couple of times, but let's call it a day. See you guys for the next episode of OMG at Science for more badass science.